Guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the add theme support function with a feature of custom logo. So in my previous video, we have already discussed that the add theme support function registered the theme support for a given feature. Whatever feature you're going to pass over here in form of a string, the feature name, uh, that support will be added to your theme. And this function needs to be included in the functions.php. Uh, in the previous videos, we have discussed the different features features like post formats, uh, post thumbnails, we have discussed custom background, uh, custom header, and in this video we're going to talk about the custom logo feature. Okay, so as we all know this needs to be defined within the functions.php, so I'm into my functions.php of my theme, and I have defined a custom function called Cornova setup, and inside of this function I'm calling all of my add theme support functions with different set of features that I want to add. And I'm hooking this custom function with after theme setup hook. So after the theme has been set up, the Cornova setup uh, function custom function will be called, which in turn will call all of these add theme support function. So in this video specifically, we're going to talk about the uh, custom logo uh, feature. And as we all know that uh, in the add theme support function, it accepts two parameters. First is feature, which is required. And second is the argument, which is optional. Okay. So over here, I'm passing the first parameter in the add theme support function, which is this custom logo, and the second parameter is an array of arguments, which is header text, site title, and site description. Okay, now, um, so once we have defined that function, if you come on to appearance, and if you come on to customize, site identity, we can see that this logo section has been added. If I go ahead and comment out this add theme support function for a custom logo feature, then we'll be able to see that this logo feature has been gone. Has gone now. Okay. So let's put that back in. And we can see that just above the site title, we have the logo option. So if you select the logo, uh, let's say I select uh, this particular logo. I will crop the image. Uh, like what? Script copy. Okay. And if you see nothing is happening over here, right? Why is that? Okay. So by going ahead and registering this particular uh, feature uh, using the add theme support function is not enough. What we really need to do is we need to use uh, a function called. Uh, the custom logo okay to go ahead and display uh, the logo okay so what we're going to do is we go to onto our header.php because we want to display the logo into the header section and just below the wp nav menu function where the menu is being displayed uh, the navigation menu has been displayed we're going to go ahead and uh, define a div uh, with a class of custom logo and just call this function the custom logo so this function basically displays the custom logo link to the home after you have used the add theme support function uh, with the feature name uh, custom logo. Okay, so now if we go ahead and um, refresh the page, and let's say we go to site int, select the logo, this one, and we can see we've got a logo here, right? Publish it refresh the page so you've got a logo here okay so don't worry about the styling in bit I'm not really looking forward to that just for uh, you know understanding purposes okay we'll just change the logo to a different one let's say I want uh, something else mm, let us get this dog crop and yes we've got a logo here okay cool now there is one more option to display the logo. Uh, let's say we comment this out. You can also make your custom function. So over here I have made my custom function, which is Cornova site branding to display the logo and the title and everything else. Okay, so if I go to the definition of this function, custom function, I can see that uh, we're saying that site title is equal to site logo, which is blank, and then this if function exists, the custom logo, which is a WordPress function that we just discussed, 
then site logo is equal to get custom logo so if you go on to the custom logo and you see where it's defined you can see that the custom logo function is doing nothing but going ahead and displaying the guest get custom logo uh, function so it's going to echo out what is returned out of the get custom logo uh, function all right so that's what we're doing over here site logo is going to get custom logo so this will contain the logo of the site whatever has been set in the customizer in the site identity section okay and uh, over here we're just getting the block name and we'll get the mod site logo and all of that and we just echoing the site logo using the WP cases function which is going to uh, filter the HTML content uh, within this array using this array so this it will filter the HTML content uh, using this array uh, it'll ensure that the HTML content inside of the site logo should be out of these uh, elements okay cool so that's how you can go ahead and display the logo either using the um, custom the custom logo function or you can create your own custom function and then display it the way you want to all right so I think that's uh, if you go ahead and refresh the page let's publish it refresh it and you can see that we have a logo here only the uh, the place where it's being displayed changes because of the way we have designed the custom function uh, but it's doing the same job so either you can use the custom logo function uh, the custom logo function to display the uh, logo that you've changed in the site entity or you can use your own custom function to however uh, you want to modify that part okay all right then i hope you like the video if you do then please do subscribe and share my video and i'll see you in the next video